Hey everyone, welcome back to Riding Mower King here. And in this video, we're going to be looking at what came in this week. What do I have to work on and make videos about? A little bit of everything, as you can tell here. So this first one here is a John Deere L120. And the date on this engine is 2003. So this is like a 20, 21, 22 year old mower. And uh, overall, it doesn't look too bad. Now you can see a little bit of rust on the deck right there. But uh, the rest of the tractor looks pretty good. There's a crack in the seat. And here's a little bit closer look at this deck. And it turns out it's a rust hole. You could just about put your hand in there. But that actually can be fixed. You can cut that metal out and weld a new piece of metal over that. That's not really that bad. Now, they said that this had a smoking problem, that the engine was smoking. And uh, so we're going to get into that a little bit later. Uh, right here, you can see it's it's kind of rusty in there. And, and I'm always leery about fixing things that have scale from sitting. Now, here you can see there's some oil everywhere. And maybe that's getting on the muffler and making it smoke. But I still want to, we're going to make a video of what the cylinders look like on the inside. You know, so that's definitely going to be coming up. Uh, sometimes oil leaks like this are just from a loose oil filter. I've had a lot of these where the oil filter was not tight enough. And it just seeps oil out while it's running. The next one I got in here is this uh, white outdoor and this is an LT1650 and the number is a little deceiving because what do we have under the hood? An 18 horsepower Tecumseh V-Twin. A very uncommon engine as far as I'm concerned. Now something like this white, this is like a kind of like a yard man, same tractor, different color. Uh, this was sold like at an Agway or a farm and home, some place like that. Not really a big franchise kind of store like Lowe's or Home Depot. You know, so it's, you know, kind of a dealer where you're going to have a salesperson that's going to know the equipment. So, you know, some things are a little upscale, you know, like that Tecumseh instead of a Briggs. Uh, but the rest of that tractor is really nice. I did get the bagger with it. Then I got these three push mowers. These are all Troy built, Troy built branded. Uh, I believe that one in the center there has the Honda engine on it. One of them does have a Honda. I'm pretty sure it's that one right in the center. I pulled the rope a few times. It did not try to start. The gas in it smells okay. Uh, the next thing is this uh, little uh, front tine tiller. And, uh, you know, this is good for like a flower bed or a well-established garden where the the soil is fairly soft. The only thing I saw with this so far, it's missing the bar to uh, regulate how deep it goes into the ground. You know, that goes right in front of the wheels right there. So, you know, we're going to be looking at that, probably make a little video about that. You know, hopefully it runs, you know, make a little buck on that somehow. People are always looking for tillers, especially something that's kind of cheaper. And the last one that came in is this SR1028 Snapper. Now, overall, this doesn't look too bad. It had been sitting for a while. The battery was dated 10 years ago, just to give you an idea how long it's been sitting. So it does have electric start on it. Uh, you know, overall, like I said, it, it's not real too bad looking. I like this style here. They, it looks newer with that plastic square steering wheel and the, the square body work there instead of just a tube. Now, it has recoil start, but it doesn't do anything, you know. So, I'll be looking under the cover there, maybe figure out why the recoil doesn't work so I don't have to put a battery in it just to try and start it. Now, the real problem with this, you know, besides it's been sitting, it needs at least three tires. And, you know, tires are getting expensive. So, you're looking 
probably close to $100 just for tires, you know, and then you got to put them on. So, you know, is this tractor really worth it? Well, if, if this is something I would almost want to like pre-sell before I would even bother to put that kind of money into it because, like I said, you're talking close to $100 and that's without even getting it running. And there's going to be a video coming on this Cub Cadet Zero Turn. I'm in the process of working on this right now. So, you know, you're going to want to hit subscribe because you don't want to miss what's coming up with that Cub Cadet. It started out as a work in progress till the work started. Then it turned into something else.